Fabi, a much uh, needed bounce back victory after uh, that round one against Ali Reza. How are you feeling right now after this roller coaster of a game? Yeah, it was a lucky one. I, I was thinking I would lose at some moment during the game. Uh, and going on minus two with two whites, you know, losing all my white games. So that it's, uh, it's a bit, I wouldn't say miraculous, but it's, it's definitely a, a bit of a lucky break. Would you say that it kind of balances out the game versus Ali Reza? It's, you were better in that one, obviously you lost, now you were worse in this one, you won yeah. this one. No, I mean, the game against Ali Reza was, I was thinking, like the worst game I've played in, in quite a long time. Because at the end, I just, okay, you can maybe justify things that happened, mistakes that we made, but the, the final mistake to take on B7 is uh, unexplainable. I mean, I have an explanation, but it's still unexplainable. <laughs> okay, let's talk this, uh, this game through. Bishop to g5, bishop takes e7, another Italian. Tell us a bit about... Yeah, you know, I thought about c3, but I didn't, like, I didn't see, like, queen e6, because I can't get d4, and knight e3, knight f6. I thought, how do I ever get d4 here? And I thought that I'm kind of shuffling, but, but without okay, mate, d4, e d4, knight d4, I, I mean, it doesn't look very promising. So I thought, like, he, he basically stops me from building a center. Mm -hmm. So I just decided to go for this structure, where I thought I'm a bit better. Um, but it's probably far too solid. It's minimal, yes. Yeah, it's probably far too solid to actually do anything. I don't know, like the engine giving some very nominal, nominal plus, but I guess it's also overestimating White's position. Then, yeah, it was clear that he, I mean, this was a waste of time. I don't know why I decided to provoke G6. It, it wasn't actually useful. And then he found this quite nice uh, maneuver, I thought. Because I still thought I had a bit of pressure, but then here, it's like, okay, I, went, I decided to go ambitious. I mean, I can play like any move and it's equal. I yes. mean, I can probably also, I don't think he would. Repeat the position. Yeah, I can just maybe repeat or something. Maybe 97, 95. I mean, maybe he would try to play on, but it is an equal position. But I still felt, felt ambitious because I was thinking that after knight c5, I would go um, uh, g5. And then he played rook e5, which I think was a nice move. And then I went for this with the idea of playing g5 here. But then I realized that it, it doesn't really work out. Like at first, I thought this was promising, but uh, then I realized I had some point else to the exchange, and uh, I have a ruinous pawn structure, you know, like this, for example, just two pawns and very bad pawn structure. Yes. So then I started also to get low on time and get worried. Um, I missed h5. Then I was already under serious pressure. And here I already like I also missed rook e8, which was a nice move. At what point were, you, were those thoughts that you just mentioned losing with the white pieces once again? And how did you block those thoughts? Well, I mean, I got down to like one minute here uh, and the position is very unpleasant. I have no concrete way to, to hold it. I just have to like kind of shuffle around and hope that things don't fall apart. B3 is weak, king is weak. And yes. So at this moment, I thought maybe I'm, I'm going to lose the game. Uh, I took this, I thought it was a practical decision because it kind of... It gives him a pawn, but we might end up in endgame like this, let's say. Of course, it's very... Um, like c6, I thought I'd play knight c3. I uh, actually did miss knight d2, <laughs> which, uh, which would be in a cold shower, but maybe I'm still... Like, I thought You're still in the game. Yeah, there, there's, like. there's still drawing chances. That's what, I, what my hope was, that basically we start to simplify, liquidate, I'm down a pawn, but there's drawing chances. Uh, but c6, I, I think that my low time kind of affected him. He thought maybe he'll just win mm -hmm. without any huge struggle, like he'll just blitz me. But, uh, but then I think I found some nice ideas. Like with my knight on f2, it's, uh, it's very, my king is suddenly safe. And I actually have counterplay with knight g4 at some moment. Yeah, king of 8 is a very tough move. I mean, king of 8, very king of 7. To find. Yes. Like I was, I was expecting something like knight b3, because queen h4 is not... Um, but I, I, yeah, I thought there was like a bunch of options. I wasn't sure which one I would pick, but yeah, f4 and then some like e5, f5 ideas are actually double-edged. So it's it's already getting to the point where I'm not the only one who has to think about losing. And then I think he missed rook d1, which was nice. Um, now I felt like I'm I'm actually pressing. Yes. Uh, yeah, I saw this, but I I didn't like want to play e d5 here. Yeah, and queen b6, d4, f4. I was just scared of something. I didn't want to do it with low the time. king somehow becomes weak again, right? Yeah, or at knight, least it my knight does like defend it. it really well. But I, okay, I thought this is like, why am I introducing risk? I'll just play ed5, it's practical. Yeah, I actually thought maybe rook e8 instead of uh, knight c5. Because if d6, knight c5, my pawn being provoked to d7 doesn't really help my cause. And if queen f4, there's like 96 stuff, and okay, I didn't see queen e3, so I was a bit hesitant to put the, knight, the pawn on d6. Um, 
and then here in like queen f4, I thought it's like such a dangerous position. Uh, so, yeah, here it was just a very strange moment because I actually get with tempo knight g4, knight h6, or knight f6. And did you realize at this point that the position is over? The game is pretty much over. Uh, well, now that the game is over, like I, I can't see. Uh, I mean, it, it looks very obvious when you say plus five, yes. but I just realized that he probably doesn't have any easy move here. I mean, knight g4 comes. I actually thought he would play king g7, but after knight g4, I still didn't see the. <laughs> the way to keep playing, you know, like he he has no mechanism to defend his king now. Yeah. And here I thought probably there's a few ways to win, but this looked very clean. Yeah. I felt like with my knight defending the king, there's really not enough checks for him. Well, Fabi, great bounce back uh, victory for you. Back to 50%. We'll let you go and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Guys, back to you. Thank you, Christian. Our congratulations to Fabi.